Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone no, I'm a hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another brand new video. My name is Gesla Chef and you here. Welcome, welcome honey. Hope you like it here and decide to make this your new home by clicking on the subscribe button right now. And tomorrow you're sending subbies. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning right back in. So yeah, it is a good Wednesday today, afternoon came back from work and I just want to sort out my life because my place right now looks really dodgy and scary and I'm so tired at the same time so it's so hot but yeah my hair is a little bit big right now I think it's ready for me to to plate get back to my braids but anyways yeah my hands are a bit dry and wet because I'm doing laundry and yeah that's just about it yeah, I want to make something to eat quickly and then continue editing and I think at 6 actually 10 to 6 I should be leaving go to gym because today is leg day and I love leg days so much but yeah I need to decide am I going to leg day or I'm finishing my video because I have a thing now I have a thing I don't wanna sabotage myself I wanna sleep early I wanna get like full on rest because I'm playing myself <laughs> like honestly I am playing myself because I'm such a tired hand you guys and I'm just trying to avoid getting bent out like super early so my videos this year won't be a lot but because I'm trying to work on like quality over quantity yeah I'm trying to work on that so you will bear with me I want to build on that consistency yes I want to get on like I want to come back be consistent again but at the same time i need to see work on like a functional routine for me especially right now at the beginning of the year i have quite a lot of things that i'm committed to so i need to work on like my schedule and thank goodness i decided to get a planner this year i want to i jump on that organized gilly era <laughs> so far i'm really enjoying it and i think i love it a lot because um as much as i'm because I'm planning my work on one side and I'm journaling on the other end and not just journaling alone because I think even like ideas I just write down you know ideas YouTube ideas that comes to mind so yeah I've been like on my break I was learning my camera and tricky and I'm just you know trying to find a style of vlogging this year and you know just I want to try new things obviously so there's room for improvement there's room for learning and finding you know find myself and find my voice so i want to go back to my lifestyle content because i think i'm definitely a lifestyle content i am definitely a lifestyle content babe so when i get back to that but i just want to sort out my life i don't see the time so yeah i need to you know sort out my life and I feel like when things are in order, it's easy for me to just get on working. So, I'm just trying to avoid like getting, you know, overworking myself. If I can make it to gym, I'm going to go to gym. But, but yeah, I have, a, I have a vlog to finish up. And a vlog is a lot, you guys. Sometimes you, you just underestimate the work that is left for you to do. And then, mode, it's 12 midnight my words it's 1 a.m and that's when i had to you know get to sleep and i'm trying to avoid that this year i don't want to play myself but i haven't been like vlogging i haven't picked up the camera in a while so if you think there's something weird and happening in my videos just know Uti, i'm still like getting used to picking up the camera again because i've been on a break sorting out my life finding what's gonna work for me this year and yeah whether or not i'm coming back to youtube was not in a question but the question was 
what am I going to be giving to the people? What am I giving to to my people this year? You know, because I love you guys so much. I miss you guys so very much. <laughs> That's for sure. So yeah, I wanna just you know get back to adulting right now, sort out my space, and you know, cause it's only Wednesday today, and I feel like ever since we came back from the warrior race on Saturday, I've been like so tired, you guys. My body's been so. I went to gym on Monday. Yesterday I did not. Before Monday, or oh, actually before gym on Monday, I had to go to Postnet and retain my Zara order, and bought a lot of things. G, I bought a lot of things. Yeah. I thought about doing um, a mini haul nyana, but I was like they don't really make a fit <laughs> but it's just a couple of things that I did like like on that Zara sale that was happening in Jen so I, I spent a lot of money and I'm not spending a lot of money this month and yeah especially on shopping actually let me not say I'm not spending a lot of money because good thing I'm even this month so Money is gonna be spent, you know. So, no shopping for me. But yeah, we continue. I'm back on YouTube. I'm back. I'm gonna give you guys vlogs. But since you good name, we're going for me this year. Just know. But I'm gonna communicate with you guys. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kayla underscore dry Just in case I'm mostly there to update you guys as well about what's up, what am I doing, you know. So yeah, I am so tired right now. Like I can tell you, I'm feeling so tired. Using your two, how time I gonna go to the gym? Feeling so hungry and tired. But yeah, I wanna prioritize my to do list of like weekly. Get everything done. Everything that is important. Manga kwa to fit everything in in a week. Yeah, well, then I know I won. So yeah, that's just about it you guys. Anyways, hope you guys are doing so well in the month of February. Because Mina, I'm still getting used to coming back on YouTube. Um, gym as well. And yeah, I think, when did I weigh myself? I think on Monday. So I'm just like, I need to, I'm gonna record it because I did not. I wanna record, make sure that I'm motivating you guys. But I wanna work on my mid-session. I want to tone my body this year so yeah i have quite a lot of things that i need to work on like i said so i'm gonna need to just put my house in order for me to not get distracted along the way so yeah that's just about it for now let me go eat before i faint because i'm starving right now and then get back to editing my video i want to don't want to miss leg day now call i'm gonna miss leg day on the if when I get back to like posting on Wednesday because I did record my Monday session at the gym I skipped yesterday did not vlog because I went to the mall to return another pair of shoes I think I showed you guys I went to H&M but I played myself yes I'm so mad and I did not find um, a fitting size yesterday so I need to I had to leave those shoes behind so now I'm gonna look for like flat comfortable shoes and then yeah basically just went to work and then went to h&m but i ended up coming late somehow g strolling around the mall and then today k on a good wednesday went to work come back started um editing my video actually midday today so yeah that's just about it so manji i wanna finish up Londoniana that i have since i was not here on weekend and yeah just sort out my space eat and continue editing i want to edit on like nice fresh space ha even head space as well so i wanna make sure would say i put like putting my house in order is not like only cleaning up my space but it's like like have a plan for literally everything that i do like a daily plan a weekly plan that's how i'm putting my house in order so it's laundry was on my to-do list today so i had to do that Editing was on my to-do list, so take that. The only thing I'm just like not too sure about is whether or not should I release a vlog tomorrow. That's gonna depend. That's gonna depend, you guys. But I'm gonna give you guys a weekly vlog. <laughs> Love you lot. See you guys later.
um morning guys morning beautiful people it is monday today um my day is it it must be the, the 12th of february and you guys last week dragged me last week dragged me and only because i went i'm watching lydia actually let me pause because i want to hear everything that she's talking about because girl can preach oh my word so yeah um last week dragged oh also i'm wearing my for the first time i'm wearing my mr price pajamas silk pajamas they're in a size large but for some reason i thought they were not like the top was not sitting the way i would love for it to sit but anyway it's mr price love them anyways and one thing about silk okay guys g one tiny bit of i don't know a drop nyana on it you left with a mug it looks untidy but yeah but i only wear them yesterday so i just open up my fresh pack of pajamas and just still need like to stock up quite a lot but anyways yeah back to it happy monday happy new week you guys hope you're gonna love and enjoy this new week hope you've planned for it because i'm about to jump on it because yesterday i slept early you know load shedding is dragging us but also i felt tired because um i think i tried to vlog on saturday um when we were going to that shisanyama there's a shisanyama that i went to on saturday which is just close by so yeah after that i tried to vlog but got distracted and i thought i was gonna pick up the vlog and i didn't but yeah i was so tired you guys on monday i even like last week i only went to gym twice only went to gym twice and not like four times like i normally would even on saturday i had to i wanted to go to the step class on a saturday but i could feel good you know what i'm still down and i was back on my routine gym routine doing well but this fatigue thing is really holding me back somehow because i can't push as much as i want it as i want so i'm just taking it easy honestly hydrating i'm trying to sleep um enough because i think that's one thing i've been lacking you know good sleep enough sleep so right now i'm just gonna i want to build you know a new routine that is so strict on getting a good sleep so that's just what i'm gonna be doing you guys but anyways i had a great time at the water race and even last week even though i was dragging myself so yeah i just realized that i need a breather i need to take some time off and relax and rejuvenate and just give my body what it needs some rest and some sleep and good food as well so yeah also i've been cutting sugar quite a lot this month and i thought that was the reason i was like so low on energy because my drug because <laughs> i'm detoxing that drug sugar is such a drug you guys i'm so obsessed and i just love everything with sugar also i'm not a savory breakfast person but in G, I i feel like cutting chocolates refined sugars is what i've been trying to do and trying to hit it you know as healthy as possible i was not like on a strict diet but i'm just easing myself into a new habit of eating which is just like whole foods and consume enough water as well so yeah guys i'm still down i really need a break i'm gonna be off work for a couple of days and i just want to rest and i might go see a doctor about this i don't know but only if it does not improve maybe by wednesday i might go see a doctor just get myself checked up because i don't know what's up but anyways yeah today is monday so yeah i just wanna read i just wanna finish up my plan that i have on my bubble app today because i skipped yesterday i don't know how i have just had a very hectic day isolo this is what i'm reading or currently having on my app because i love to have these things you know hope you guys can see that it was five days of killing comparison with nona jones loving loving the plan so i want to finish my devotions this morning 
I was obviously up at like around seven. I had stuff to do. So now I just wanna my I just wanna have my slow mornings for this couple of days that I'm home. You guys, the funny thing about life is that sometimes we go through questioning ourselves after the break I took from um YouTube, creating um, you know, specifically creating content because I still had like content to, to edit. I took a break and then watching other people's vlog before I come back to creating, I'm like, this is so good. They are so good. They are so talented. You know, you look, no wonder they blew up and all those type of things. And I'm looking at my content, my slow progress, you know, it's still growth in ways and I, and I appreciate it. And I was feeling some type of way and I think it's one of the reasons that led me to, to reading this plan that I just showed you guys right now. Killing comparison. And you're looking at YouTube now as well. You see, honestly, it's less about the... Um, what is it? It's less about the equipment but more about your creativity and the algorithm as well which you cannot even master which is just so wild. For someone who is... I don't know who is just low-key like myself from literally all my social networks to coming out to YouTube because I think you sort of better if you have made a name or you have a huge following on Instagram and then you have a YouTube channel because all your followers can now support your channel as well but I didn't have all of those things you guys all the odds were literally against me but it was just a passion that I had and a prompting to just you know what would you just go after what you're feeling sometimes and stop questioning what you're feeling and what you and make trying to make sense of, of out of literally everything that happens in your life because i i can't even make sense honestly so feeling like that i was then again you know sometimes i need to say as much as bafanel and i'm in fanuel you know stand bold in what i'm deserving as well but obviously don't question why God started with them or why God chose them. You know, that part I don't want to go into because I don't know what they went through. So I don't even want to start. So I want to read the last day, which is day five of my devotion. And I, I read this and I thought it was beautiful to, to just have, you know, for the rest of the year. And it reads, when I was on my journey to getting free from toxic comparison, Go through my attention to the life of Jonathan, King Saul's son and David's best friend. As a case study in healthy identity, I had honestly never studied him in any deep way. I saw him as a supporting character in the story of David, but not as someone to learn from. Yet, the more I studied the story of Saul and David, I realized that the real hero of the story was Jonathan. Here's why. Um, and our focus verse is First Samuel 18 verse 4 and it reads Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David along with his tunic and even his sword his bow and his belt and then they, she continues to, to elaborate although Saul gets the headlines for acting out and behaving poorly from the belief that David was a threat to his kingdom the truth is that David wasn't a threat to Saul because Saul was already king. In truth, David was a threat to Jonathan because if the people wanted David to be king, it would have been after Saul died. Yet, look at how Jonathan responds to David returning from battle victorious. Instead of feeling threatened by David's success, he celebrated David's success. He gave David his royal robe and weapons. And this is the key to living free from comparison. Killing toxic comparison requires celebrating others. You aren't in competition with someone you are rooting to win. You aren't threatened by someone you are celebrating. And this is why Jonathan was able to live with joy and peace as the people celebrated David. Jonathan didn't secure his identity to being the future king. He secured his identity to being who God said he was at that moment. And at that moment, he was the son of the king. He was a servant of God and he was David's friend. Jonathan knew a truth that many of us forget. No man or woman is a threat to the purpose God has placed within you. You don't have to measure yourself against someone else because there is no comparison. Their purpose is unique. God doesn't create duplicates or extras 
so stand firm in who you are and reject the lie that you aren't good enough it's time to live free from comparison oh man this was so good this was so good this was too good man this devotion was so good it is only five days and i had to share the last day with the guys so i'm gonna link it below as well i'm gonna leave that um region active below check it out and i'm gonna leave this devotion as well and also on that bible app there's so many things that you can if you lack hope you need encouragement you want to learn about love you want to learn about um you know dating as a christian young christian and everything and i think these things are really good because you know learning about something before you are in it saves you quite a lot because you don't want to make mistakes and then learn from them but get, obviously our journeys are going to be different some of the lessons are ordained by god hence we find ourselves corner because they are building something in us or they're killing something in us they are rooting they're uprooting some things in us and they're opening our eyes and make us better people so i find myself comparing having to compare looking at their past would see I've been through the same thing. How come I'm not? I've been through even worse than this person. But how come I'm not where? Yeah, well, so that's why I, I had to find this and remind myself that I'm enough, that I'm chosen, that I'm set apart, that I'm loved by God, that I'm created by God, and I'm, you know, for His purpose and by His purpose. And it's only that. It's not necessarily because I feel some type of way or jealous which they are getting something that i want to get as well because yeah they, they're getting it because they're supposed to be getting it now now i'm gonna get it at my own time and pace because now i deserve it. it there's no comparison at all and so i loved it so much which we cannot compare we cannot even compete in the papers what God has put inside of me is different. It's, you do not have it. I don't have what, you, what God has put inside of you. So you cannot be a better person because you're not me. You don't have what I have. I don't have what you have. So how are you a better person? But you only we are only better people when we are, I don't know, actively living, actively using the gifts and actively, you know, living in the purpose of God then that's how we become better because we're better than yesterday. We are better than the people we were before we knew Christ. Not necessarily better than the other person because you're comparing with you and another who's more beautiful, who's more, who has a better, you know, a bigger following and whatever. It's not about that at all because we cannot compare and compete with the purpose of God. So that alone has set me free and I love the word of God for that reason. And yeah, I hope you guys are going to find a plan for yourself as well. You know a couple of days start from three days to five days or you know 30 days six months there's a plan for literally everything and there is a home page obviously we have our home page and yeah i want to show you guys this menus over here we have home we have bible and then we have plans go to plans and then you see when you go to plans, we have love, we have healing, we have, we have anger, we have anxiety. There's quite a lot that you can search from. And yeah, we have hope, we have depression, we have fear, we have peace, stress, patience, loss, jealousy, joy, temptation, pride, doubts. There's so much you can choose from. But get in, get in your word and be a better person, you know, be better. And yeah. That's just about it. Let me showing you guys and let me know if you are currently reading a plan that you would love to, you know, share with me as well. Because you can read a plan for yourself or read that plan with your friends as well. And you both could be, you know, alignment. And that's what I, I want for myself as well. Just be, have, be part of a group of ladies and, you know, do all these fun things together now because I want to learn from them as well. Because, yeah. I want to learn from them. I want them. I want them as well to learn from me. Let's just grow together. Let's love on each other, support each other, and you know, let's just love and support, support each other, support the creator by subscribing to their channel, and yeah. 
but anyways yeah i had so much fun in this month of february i've been loving the month loving the growth and one thing about youtube it's gonna challenge you to check your life so i'm loving that so much so today it's still morning i'm just having a cup of green tea right now i was still soaking it up i'm gonna have my green tea i don't know why is it not getting like proper soaked but yeah i just recently poured some boiling water in here that's just about it taking good care of ourselves you guys avoiding these things that are going to give us trouble in a run, uh, long run so yeah have a great day have a great week i hope you've prepared for it and hope you enjoy this mini vlog and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your loved ones as well and yeah i hope you've enjoyed if you are new watching me for the very first time hope you love it here and come back again <laughs> yeah come back again and next time please you know make up your mind and just stay bye for now let me check on my emails and everything us. Bye. Hope you've enjoyed my devotions this morning. And yeah, I love you. Bye. If I told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, know I'm a child of God.